What's up, guys? Tony here, hanging out with you from Paradise Garage. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me super quickly. Um, also, let me know where you're tuning in from, what platform, Facebook or YouTube. I'm in a central uh, comment hub right here. And instead of me switching back and forth, if you could just say YouTube or whatever. Also, let me know if you are a Learn Auto Body VIP member or not. Let me know. Type in the comment. Let me know. This way I can see some interaction. Make sure the audio is coming through or, or not. Let and it seems like we're okay. <laughs> I think. Um, how's the audio and video, guys? The audio and video. So we got Frank VIP from Delaware. Frank, did you get my email? I replied back to you about your little project, your trunk that you're working on. You're trying to fill some holes. You can't get to the back. So like what I was saying, um, let's actually see if we can pull up your email. And then what I'll do is share my screen. Hopefully we could do that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. My screen is just loading up here. We got so many emails. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Let's see if I can find Frank's Frank. There's so many Franks. Okay. Not sure if I can share this, but let's try. Let's try. Okay, guys. Okay, cool. We got Har Harold Schwinn in the house. Eric Bill Taylor, lifetime VIP from Detroit. AC tuning in from Michigan. YouTube VIP member audio and video is fine. Lifetime VIP from South Africa. What's up, people? Gavin's in the house. Russ, lifetime VIP. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What are your thoughts on inflatable spray booth? I think it's actually, I don't know, Peggy, because I am actually thinking of getting one or seeing if somebody would sponsor us one um, at the new garage because it's going to be coming up very, very soon. I've been looking at a couple of them. You can get them for about $1,500 uh, to $2,000. But before we get into that stuff, let me just share my screen, guys, and see if we can share my email. Oh, man, it doesn't look like I can share my email. So I'll tell you what, we'll just maybe share screen here and let me know if you guys can see Frank's, let me bring Frankie's uh, picture in here. You guys see Frank's project? I think you do. I think you guys do, right? Yeah, you guys see Frankie's project here. So Frank is working on his MG, okay? And he is, he took off one of those uh, little trunk racks and I've done a few of these on Mazda Miatas in the past, probably at least four of them. Um, and um, just purchased Lifetime VIP membership today. Excited. Awesome, Ted. Congratulations. Welcome, VIP, Ted. When did you join up? What's up, Arnold Ricchetti? Okay, so he's saying, okay, so Frankie, so you're saying you can't get to the back of it. Right. So, uh, well, a lot of times under the hood, you're going to have a double wall. All right. And some some parts of the underneath, you're going to have like a thicker area bulging out. You guys know what the underside of a trunk looks like. Right. So if you really wanted to, you could drill some big like one inch holes kind of where they are. So you can get to the back and put a piece of fiberglass or a piece of screen and then go to on the front side of it on top and then basically fill it up with fiberglass filler. I would use uh, the U-Paul fiber light or kitty hair. Okay. Any kind of fiberglass. I wouldn't just, you could just use body filler and fill the holes. You're going to have to go over it two or three times. Same thing with fiberglass. Okay. You could weld them up if you wanted Okay, but that's like, I, to me, welding holes up is more work than needed. You could weld them up um, or you could just make sure you grind around the hole areas. Okay, and then just, all right, Peggy Sue said weld it up and grind it. You could weld it up and grind it if you want, or you could just 
expose the metal, grind it all up, and then lay some fiberglass uh, kitty hair. Make it thick. Make sure it bulges in a little bit. Let that dry really good. And then cut it flat. And then you might have to go over with a little bit of body filler or glaze putty to finish it off. But most of the times you won't have an issue with that. You know, I've had one of my older Miatas maybe 15 years ago. I did that same exact thing and I owned the car and I had it for about three years after my paint job, after fiberglassing it. And there was never any imperfection or issue like with the hole coming back, you know, like having a dent or a little crack around it. I've never seen that. So, you know, you could try it, try filling it, you know, or like I said, you could try welding it. It's, it's up to you. So just wanted to, um, to do that. And speaking of stud guns, I got your question, Ted, I'm going to go over here to Amazon and Amazon has, oh shit, let me, maybe I should just bring, can you guys see my screen with Amazon? Let me know. I don't know if this is, uh, showing Amazon as well. Yes, it is. Okay. So Amazon, there's a, there's a brand called h and I have two of these and they've been around for years and years and years. It's a good starter uh, stud welder. You can get them in a pack. You can get it singly. I would actually go for a pack, you know, a kit like this, 250 bucks, give or take. Oh, this one's 167. They give you some welding pins with it. Uh, looks like you got two and a half millimeter and two millimeter. And then you get the little uh, puller, okay? And um, it works well. It works well. Harbor Freight also has a cheaper version. I don't know how much. I've never bought a Harbor Freight version of this, but I do have an H&S at my shop right now in Texas. And let's see, what else do they got? They have the more expensive one. The black one is a little bit more expensive. Um, I think you get a little bit more in the kit. Deluxe stud welder. Uh, you get the T handle for the puller, okay? Which you really don't need. You don't need that, okay? Um, a friend of mine has this one, and he's been using it for years. I would go for the cheap one, uh, the two, $200 version. This one's another one. Okay, whatever fits your budget, but they all work. They all work. You're not going to have an issue. You know, they all work. Okay, a stud gun is a stud gun. Okay, it's just, do you know how to use it correctly? And if you look in the VIP videos, I tell you, I show you how to set it up, how to use it. You don't want to hold the trigger too long. You know, usually two, a second and a half, one, two, like a quick, you know, quick counting in the seconds, uh, and then you're good. Because if you don't burn it on and melt it on, it'll basically pull the pin out and your dent won't really pop out. It won't go anywhere. And if you hold the trigger too long, you'll burn a hole in it. Okay. So you just want to be right in the middle, practice on a piece of uh, metal, you know, practice on an old fender or whatever. And, uh, and you're good to go. All right. Just wanted to kind of share that. Let's go ahead and sh stop sharing screen. You guys getting this so far? Does that help? Adam says, I got one. Uh, works great. I just bought one for Harbor Freight. Works pretty well. So Peggy Sue, how much was the one that you got? Hundred bucks. I see it right there. Hundred bucks. So not bad. Not bad. Hundred bucks. Um, excellent, guys. Okay. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's see. Let's see. We got people on Facebook as well. Awesome. Possum. Cool. We're gonna be. We're gonna be. Doing some really cool stuff soon. So Gary says, let's see what Gary says. Uh, Wyoming Dutch oven cooking. Hey, Tony, Gary here. Thanks for the advice last week on my 93 pickup. What do you think of the glue on stud puller? VIP YouTube, Wyoming. Um, well, the, the glue type, I had it. I used it on my brand new 2017 Tacoma back in Texas because I had a couple of hail dents on it. and not really happy. You know, they make it look nice and easy on the videos and the infomercials, like it really pops out, but come on, it really doesn't work like that. I tried it. You can try it. You know, it sticks and it's, it's very hard to get it completely fixed without a dent with the stud, with the, with the glue on tabs. You could, you could pop out a big dent with it, but you might still have a little ripple. You know what I mean? It's not like a hundred percent 
going to be straight when you're done with that, you know? So, I mean, it's good for tape popping out dents, but you're not going to get that, you know, professional auto body job finish. You know, what you could do after that is scuff it with 80 grit and give it a, if you want to paint it, right? If you don't want to paint it, then that's how it is. What's up, Jesus Estrada? Um, let's see. Is epoxy primer sandable? I heard epoxy is not sandable. I would like to know. Usewood has a 2K epoxy in spray cans. I only need it for the hard top. Absolutely any kind of primer is sandable. All right. Any kind of primer is sandable. So you could have put you could put epoxy on it. You know, maybe you sprayed epoxy on it, you let it sit for two, three, four weeks. Because usually after you spray epoxy, it's good to spray the 2K filler primer on top of that, like the next day, okay, or even the same day. Um, but if you're going to let it sit for a while, it's not going to hurt to scuff it down before you put 2K on it. You could scuff it with like a 2, 240, 280 grit, 240 grit, you know, and 220 grit even, and then uh, put your 2K filler primer over that. Have you ever used uh, SPI Clear? I have not. Maybe if they send me some samples, I can test it out. Tony, can I weld on aluminum? You could weld on aluminum if you have your aluminum uh, welding spool. You need the aluminum uh, spool, you know, the rods. You can't weld on aluminum. And of course you could weld on aluminum, but I have never done aluminum welding. So I'm not the pro to be asking for that. I'm sorry about that. You know, I'm not the world's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really a welder. You know, I haven't got to the point yet where I can put a lot of time in to do welding, you know, maybe in the future, but right now it's not my specialty. I don't know. We would have to hook up with a welder and get them on the YouTube here and, uh, and do a live stream. Maybe we could do that in the future. So any welders out there, let me know, holla at me. We could do a little, uh, you know, collaboration video together on and talk about welding, you know, because I need some advice as well. Um, Charlie Overton, what grit to sand old paint for the whole car? It all depends. It depends. Charlie, aren't you a Learn Auto Body VIP? How many non-VIPs on here? First time, first time looky lose, never been on before. Well, I have a surprise for you. Go here to claim your free auto body training. Uh, sorry, I meant stud welding aluminum. I would think you can if there are aluminum uh, studs. I don't see why not, but you need to use aluminum, I believe. I believe, I'm not sure, I don't know. That's a good question, I don't know. But I know that you cannot weld a regular, use a regular stud welder and use a pin, it won't stick. Cause I've tried it on a 3000, on a Nissan 3000 ZX, um, the hoods are aluminum, okay? There was a dent in it. I knew it felt light. I was young, I was like 18, 17, 18. It was light. I grinded it and the stud welder, and once I grinded it down, you could tell it's aluminum, right? And then I got the stud welder anyway. I tried it, it didn't stick. It doesn't stick. Sundown Blazer, what's up? Sundown Blazer. How come I don't see you? Oh, there you are, there you are. Stop by to say hello, what's up Sundown? I've been enjoying the Atom Mini X16. Awesome, 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 I'm glad you like that little spray gun. Uh, actually, I have one right here. I have one right here. Right here with a huge 850 milliliter uh, disposable cup system on it. <laughs> Super huge, but you can see how small the X16 is really. It's not a, it's, it's a, it's a good little mini gun, you know? Um, so if you guys are looking for great guns, be sure to check out Zula.com. They got great spray guns over there, um, and I'm sure you will love them. Okay, we got another question here from Mr. Jeff. The coating store is what I'm using for base coat and candy, then using House of Color Show Clear. Awesome. Let me know how that works out, Jeff. When you get on the next time, let me know how that works out. I've never tried it. David Jones says, What's up, Tony? What's up, David Jones? Where are you tuning in from? 
Need Aaron gas for aluminum, Harold Schwinn says. <clears throat> oh, guys, guess what I forgot to do? I forgot, I totally forgot to basically say what's up to all my Learn Auto Body VIP members, officially right there. <laughs> Again, if you guys are new, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get more information. Serves Customs. I have an Atom X27 man great gun, what I always use, I recommend guys. It is a great gun and that's the only gun I use. Uh, they're the only guns I use actually. They are fantastic spray guns for sure. Um, the X88 is also a phenomenal spray gun. The Infinity, which is this color combo right here. Beautiful color combo. Combo. <laughs> combo. Jumbo. Arnold DiRicetti, how are you doing, man? You've been on my mind this weekend. i just been so freaking busy, man. Please just... Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Uh, Arnold says, love the Mini X16. I have two of them with multiple size tips. So what else, guys? You guys got any other Q&A? Don't forget to look up the crushed glass. I'm going to keep you on about that. Okay, Jeff. What is it called, actually? Isn't, isn't it a special glass, Jeff? There's a special glass. It's not called just crushed glass. There's a special name to that, isn't there? Isn't there a special name to that? Uh, Mr. Ed says, what is your favorite gun to use for primer? And I would have to say, I am going to pull it up right here, actually. Spray guns. I like the X20 high volume, low pressure um, with the 2.0 tip size, the 1.8 or 2.0. 1.8 or 2.0 tip kit. Arnold, you're looking for homes as well? You're looking for homes? Arnold? Arnold, man, that's awesome. That's great news. Ground glass. Trying to get the picture loaded. Arnold, well, good luck, man. Let me know. Let me know how that works out. That is awesome. We'll talk about it when I call you. I will call you soon. Dude, I, I'm serious, man. Definitely we'll get a good deal, Arnold. Arnold, where are you located again? New York or Texas? I think you're you're no, no, no. You're not, you're not in any of those states. What state are you? North Carolina? All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So AC says, I bought the Black Widow high volume, low pressure from Harbor Freight, comes with a 1.7. Would I be able to put any other 2.0 tip size onto it? Uh, usually tip kits have to be for that specific gun. So you're not going to be able to put any other tip kit on that gun because it won't fit. You know, it's a different design, different gun. Uh, yeah, 2.0 tip kit. 2.0 tip kit. R, R key. 2.0 is what you want. 1.8 or 2.0. I would go with either or. It's not going to hurt going bigger. Um, let's see. Okay, Teddy. Teddy says, I need to co connect all hoses and filtration to my new compressor. Do you have lessons on what I need to get? Um, there is a section in VIP where I set up an air compressor, Ted, and we're going to be doing it all over again in the next coming weeks. And I'm still looking for another air compressor. So um, I'm looking for an air compressor and I'm looking for some tools because I, you know, it's, we're setting up the new shop, you know, and I'm basically starting from scratch. I don't know when I'm going to get back to Dallas um, to get my tools and everything. Like I literally have a whole shop. I have everything in Dallas. So, you know, whenever I can, I will get back and ship what I can, but you know, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going back anyway. 
Um, so yeah, Eric. What gun would be best to use? I would get the get uh Atom X27 low volume, low pressure, or you could even get the X88 low volume, low pressure. This is a fantastic gun. Fantastic gun. This one right here. This one right here is a very freaking nice gun. I mean, people love it. I introduced this to about five or six body shops over here already, and they've been buying them. You know, they're like, Tony, get me more. So I've been hooking them up with a discount. Um, all you VIP guys, you guys get discounts uh, over at Zula.com. At least 10%. I think this is the X88. Yeah, I already sent the link to you. And then if you're looking for a little cheap, this one comes with two tip sizes, uh, 1.3 1 and 1.4, and then there's a 2.0 that you can get as well. Um, and then let's see, the X27 is also a hot, hot spray gun. Um, and then they, they have both you know, high volume and low volume versions i'm just gonna put that right over here okay i can't load the pictures jeff maybe put them in facebook and then i'll check it later jeff i don't think you could load pictures here because it's it's like um i think you got to be a moderator or something All right, David Jones says, uh, Ted says, if you, if you want a clear coat gun, Ted, seriously, get the X27 low volume, low pressure, because all of Adam spray guns, guys, they come with the gun bud ultra lighting system for free which is a 60 dollars value and if you don't want it you can just resell it on ebay this thing will light up your projects you know it's amazing you literally you could paint in the dark with this thing and i've done it i've painted in a total pitch black garage with no lighting um with this gun oh uh, no with the x27 and the gun bud David Jones, I had a horrible reaction with plastic adhesion. Why, why is the best way to make sure you clean the plastic piece good enough? What's the best way to make sure you clean the plastic piece good enough? Customer just got me the spray can stuff. Do you recommend a certain brand for plastic adhesion? Um, I do recommend Bulldog plastic uh, adhesion promoter. Bulldog is a good brand. Um, and all you do is scuff it with the red 3M scuff pad or 400 grit, lay down your adhesion promoter, but just dust it on. You don't, the problem with a lot of people is they load it on like they're spraying clear coat. You don't want to do that. Adhesion promoter has to go on like, like tacky, you know, like you're dusting it. You don't want to lay it on. You're just going to dust it and then let that dry. That's the problem. People put too much of it on. You just want to kind of get it on. If you miss a little bit of areas, you know, just, just dust it. You just want a dust on it and, you know, anatomized spray, but not wet. You don't want it wet. Hopefully that helps. Try that and then you should be good to go. Any Black Friday deals on the X27? Guess what, guys? Um, I just got word, you know, uh, Zula is going to be doing a Black Friday sale, I think, next week for a week. So it's going to be huge. So if you guys are on the Learn Auto Body and Paint newsletter, most of you guys are. All of you VIP guys are. I know that. Um, if you're not a VIP, if you're just a regular you know, subscriber or tuning in right now for the first time, go here, get the free auto body training, and then I will notify you guys of that special sale when they do it next week. It's going to be like a one-week Black Friday, Cyber Monday. It's going to be epic. And I think you guys are going to be able to get a lot of good deals. So, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Any other questions? How can I send it to you? Link, Jeff, just, we're on Facebook, right? Let's see. 
Jeff, just type it in the Facebook comment, maybe. I bought the Lumalai like a dummy, wasn't impressed. Oh, God, David Jones. David Jones, you should have just got the gun bud for free with Adam X. Anyway, you live and learn. <laughs> You're funny. Dude, those things are expensive. I, I I don't know. I would never buy one. That thing is like the price of... What did you pay for that, David? That thing's like the price of a spray gun. Uh, just sent it to Messenger. Let's see. Okay, I'll probably get it through Messenger. So I'll check that. I'll check that when I get off. I just got so many things going on right now with all these screens. Please forgive me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I know they're selling for like, they sell for like 200 or 250 bucks. That is, that is crazy. All right. Um, guys, so quick update. I think by this week, Thursday, I will have a, 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 a more definite update on the property that we are closing on. Um, and when we are going to occupy, hopefully very soon. Um, this month for sure, this month for sure. And, um, oh, you guys remember that bus that I was talking to you about last week, that big solar powered off the grid, 37 foot bus. You guys remember that thing? Well, guess what? It's going to be a part of paradise garage. We are getting it. I already gave them the deposit yesterday. We are getting it. It's going to be super cool. Uh, we could probably do some live streams around it, within it, you know, and, and, and really have fun with that. Oh, Jeff, I got your, I got your image here. Let's see. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I got it. Crush glass. Road marking, curb paint, traffic paint. So what are you saying? Like add this in clear coat? Are you saying add this, like put this in the paint? Like we'll see. We'll see what we could, if we could do anything. I got, I got it. How often do you live stream? We live stream every Monday and Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. Central. No, Eastern, sorry, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Guys, if you haven't liked yet, hit the like button. Thank you, Gavin. Yeah, Arnold Arnold has it down. <laughs> I get mixed up with all the time zones. Um, low volume, low pressure technically is more of a clear coat gun. It lays on clear a lot nicer, but you know what? I've sprayed both base coat and clear coat out of high volume, low pre you know, high volume guns, low volume guns, and I get the same results, you know? So, you know, technically high volume sprays on the metallics and base coats a lot better, you know, and then you got the low volume, medium pressure, L LV, LVLP, and then they got the LV LP MP, which is kind of like a medium pressure. It uses a lot less, uh, you need a lot less volume. So it's ideal for people with smaller air compressor setups, you know, low volume, low pressure spray guns. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much it. Mobile Paradise Garage. Yeah, well, the bus, once I park that thing on my property, it's going to be like a permanent fixture. We, you know, we might have an awning come across, come up, come off of it, have like a fire pit, you know, maybe do some movies on the side of it, you know, with, on, on a nice backdrop, um, you know, turn it into like a party bus. I don't know. Yeah, my X21 is awesome with my 33 gallon uh, air compressor. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, today we, we are doing a barbecue. Again, it seems like every time I get on with you guys, I'm having a barbecue. But I have to go light up this grill and put these put this meat on it. Me and Ronnie were 
fighting the air pressure when clearing some parts. Oh, you're Ronnie's buddy, huh? Tell Ronnie I said, what's up? Just got an 80 gallon air compressor. Do you recommend a certain brand for an air regulator? Um, I've had good results with uh, Ingersoll Rand. Um, I guess, I mean, anyone would probably do. Just don't go too cheap because you get what you pay for, you know? You get a cheap, cheap one, it might crap out on you. So get like a medium grade. That's why I tell people, you know, try to get a medium grade something, you know, if you don't have the budget. Medium grade spray guns, you know, medium grade tools, you know, don't go with the cheapest. But sometimes, you know, you get the cheapest thing. Who cares? Tony B. Richie, drink a cold one for me while you are grilling my brother. Thank you, Arnold. I will. Amen to that. I would like to paint my ABS canoe. Could you recommend what paint I should use? You can use automotive paint. You're not gonna keep it in the water. You can use any automotive paint, you'll be fine. I've painted many jet skis back in the day with automotive paint, I mean, you're good. And a couple of boats. Uh, but what you, what you do is if you're gonna be keeping a boat in the water for a long time, throw some hot sauce in your paint, no joke. It'll help with the barnacle growth. It'll stop the barnacle growth. You can put some hot sauce in it or uh, cayenne, cayenne powder. Yo, what's up, JD, bro, what's up? I'm about to head out right now. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, I'm using my new my new Mevo, my new Mevo camera. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. I'm hot. I gotta start that grill up right now. And um, I'll see you guys Thursday night, uh 8 30 p.m. Central, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. And also, all you newbies just tuning in, don't forget to hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com to get your free training right there. You'll get on the list and I'll notify you uh, when Zula does their Black Friday sale sometime next week. So if you're looking for awesome spray guns, don't forget Adam X right over there. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Well, not next week. What am I saying? Mayan, I need help with my PSI settings. Like what? Well, just make sure trigger pulled. If you're spraying base coat, clear coat, you're gonna wanna be at 26, 27 pounds of air. Clear coat, you're gonna wanna go up to like 28, 29 pounds. Okay, trigger pulled, air gauge reading, trigger pulled. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I got to head out. I got to do this grill. Talk to you soon. Have a good evening. Peace out. Cheers. Aloha.